Hey guys, welcome to Medified Vicky. I'm Seth Vick, first year medical student at Bond Uni. Um, this is the second week of medical school, so it's Monday. The thing that I want to say was, yeah, last week was very chill. So we didn't have too much on, it didn't feel like, you know, we were thrown in the deep end, but this week, this week is very full on. Um, today, I start at 9, I finish at 5, so it's basically like an edit art job. Um, and even the days after tomorrow, they're, they're pretty packed as well. And now I'm kind of seeing that, you know, it's not all chill. Um, they do get you to do quite a lot of things. For example, we have a, tomorrow that is, um, we have a uh, communicating with patients. Um, block so that runs from one to like five and like doesn't seem to have any breaks in it unless I'm reading the timetable wrong which is a possibility so from the pre-lecture readings or pre-studying that I did for this week yesterday um, it kind of showed that we'll be doing quite a lot of cells tissues um, kind of the nitty-gritty details of things which I'm looking forward to, although I've done it already last year. I think it'll be great to, you know, refresh my memory. And it's sort of like biological science, not really fully medical, as per se. Yeah, it's like something that you would learn in pre-med, um, but they are building it up slowly. Also, one more thing to add would be, it feels really weird. It feels really weird saying my intro to the videos all the time because I've never done this before uh, obviously um, but yeah that's this just thought I put that in because I'm out on the streets just holding my phone uh, speaking to a phone or speaking to myself really because I can see myself uh, yeah it feels really really odd so I, I do get people asking me that every now and then and I'm like like people are used to it these days people are used to just people just talking to people talking to themselves on the phone and recording stuff so yeah but it does feel really weird for me when people look at me when i'm in public and i'm recording but is this something that i'm gonna have to get used to yeah so our patient for this week for our sgl is a patient who's come in with a sore throat and to the GP and this is going to be our focus for the next week so all the le lectures and workshops and everything will be catered around there and I'm just here just having a brain dump I'm speed walking to my bus which I think I'm gonna miss it's only day two day two of the week um, I have a lecture at eight and pretty big break in the middle and then another lecture for about a little break and then we have a big block of communicating with patients so for that we need to form an uh, attire which is down there um, yeah so I think I'm going to be late for my bus but I don't want to be late because they track our attendance at bottom so as soon as you um, as soon as you get to class you need to check in so that's how they know that you've attended because all lectures and workshops and practicals labs and um, they're all compulsory so you need to check in so i don't i don't want to be late for my second week um, so yeah i'm just literally just rushing towards my bus i just made it in time which is good and the bus is about four minutes away um i think to give you a better perspective about how um what the time is it's about quarter to seven so 6 45 and it's already it's looked like it looks like this, but, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's 8, but it's actually 7.45. So, there you go. So I have a 12 break, um, 
so I thought I'd just pop down to the Transport Mains Roads Office or TMR Office shortcut um, and apply for my CRN which is a customer reference number which I need for uni. Uh, the reason why I waited this long is because I was waiting for my bank card which is a form of ID so I actually got it on Sunday so I was able to do it today. It's been like almost three weeks since I applied. So yeah, I finally got that done, so tick. So to continue, I did have my uh, communicating with patients um, session. It was probably the highlight of the week. Um, so what, what actually happened was there were four actors. They're not actual real patients, they're called simulated patients. So they're basically actors who are hired and they, give, they get given a sort of scenario and they kind of live that character for that time. And so I, or I had, so I went last and I got to talk with the mother of the patient so because they, cause you can't actually bring in um, children uh, like to act so I had to talk to the mother so the questions that I had to ask had to be slightly changed, slightly tailored to, um, to the patient who's actually not in the room so that, in that way it was kind of different for me compared to my peers but it is what it is so my arm's actually getting tired so I'm gonna go home and then explain in detail what we did. So basically the thing I was saying earlier was they split us up into groups of four and then we had four stations and then we had four different actors per station um, or one actor per station and four actors all together and so when it was time um, you know, there's like a buzzer, they press a buzzer, like it rings, and then you can, whoever is volunteered or we've picked them to go, they'll go outside, out of the door, and then they're in the hallway, the actors, right? They'll open it, they'll go in, they'll ask the patient, or in my case, the patient's mother or whoever it is, they'll ask them to come in, um, they'll ask them to sit down, you introduce yourself, and then you confirm the patient's, um, like name, like age, date of birth, um, to make sure you have the correct patient. And then you kind of just ask them like, you start your history taking process basically. Um, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, should I do like a history taking process thing? What do you guys think? Um, based on that, I'll do like a full comprehensive thing on that maybe. Um, but yeah, it, it's been the best thing. Um, so far um, in the week and probably the whole time here better than the cadaver lab um, I've noticed as soon as I like started interacting with the patient like you get you don't notice the other group members in your group and also we have um, other doc like a uh, doctor with us as well just watching and getting feedback after you've done with your patient um, so as I was saying like once you get yourself involved you actually forget about the rest of the group and the uh, the doctor that's actually watching you as well um, and yeah by far like the reason i'm taking a long time to explain this is because i'm actually really genuinely surprised that they get us to practice history taking um with the guidance and supervision of an actual doctor and at this age like second week in the first year of med school i think that's really awesome the my mates who are in other medical schools they don't start till um, you know, they don't do any clinical practice till like fourth year. So, but they, it's, it's, I think it's very good because it, you know, it gives you a lot of experience before you even hit the thing. And history taking is one of those basics that you just want to hone in so that, you know, when you go into your internships, your junior doctor years and later on in your career, you have the toolkit necessary to diagnose a person. Like it's the most important thing. So I'm amazed that, you know, they start us um, doing this really early. So I reckon that's great. Um, I was really, really excited. So I just like couldn't stop myself until I got home. So that's why, yeah, just started talking on the middle of the road. Uh, the next few days it's meant to rain. So 
and like a storm or something like there's meant to be a storm that's meant to be landing here or something so i'm probably not going to be recording as much but i don't know it depends on the situation if it's pouring down with it, then obviously i'm not gonna get my phone out and record so there you go it is raining i got my umbrella so i don't get wet So what you saw there was a party organized by the Medical Society um, for one and it was just to start the semester and make sure that I think this is better, this all happens. Uh, yeah, it was just to make sure that everything, uh, like you're prepped for the, you're prepped for the entire semester. And so it happens every semester. It's called the Medieval. And it's just when you go there, you just kind of, you know, release all your stress before the stress actually begins. If that makes any sense, no, it doesn't. Uh, anyway, that's basically what it is, and so I'm just going home from there. It's about 11:35 um, at night, obviously. Uh, yeah, and if you can pick up or hear me properly, you will know that I am. My voice is very coarse. Uh, I've been yelling, <laughs> yelling in the ears of people. You were yelling in mine, so kind of half deaf right now, temporary hopefully and my voice isn't that great either so yeah so I've, I've, I think I hope you guys enjoyed the video I think the second week has been more fun than the first week um, but yeah let me know how it is and I'll see you guys in the next one